you're talking about chunking today and you started from why do we chunk at all the task of chunking is to create large enough pieces of information that we can put it in the context of an LLM call and ask it to answer a question recall is not really what we're looking for what we're looking for is precision in terms of the retrieval system it is not good enough that we are building a retriever system that can get all the relevant chunks eventually <laughs> what we really want to have is i can put only three chunks into the context are these the absolute necessary chunks we want to get the most relevant things and put them in the context relevance might mean very different things in different scenarios semantic similarity does not mean relevance necessarily that's a really interesting discussion happening right now after gemini pro 1.5 with the million tokens context came out people were asking does this mean rag is no longer that useful that's where precision comes in so it's not just imperative that we feed in the right chunk it should also be the case that these chunks should not have information that might act as distractors can we create future llms in such a way that they don't get distracted where is the Im- improvement going to be is it going to be in making these long context models not get confused by the distractors or is it in improving your chunking strategy or your retrieval methods all these chunking strategies are temporary because if you look at the representation power that llm has it has a bigger head start than any of the smaller uh, less robust techniques that we use for all our retrieval systems. We were teaching Sherpa math with a bunch of things we added to it. It went from 20 something percent on arithmetics to 99 percent. And what it is struggling with is the following type of number related question. These soccer teams are playing and the score is 3-3. How many players are there on each of the teams? And it says three and three. Definitely the distracting information is interesting. There are the relevant chunks, but what you're also saying is that the information inside each of the chunks might be distracted. There should be a refinement process. The refinement can within a prompt. You could use heuristics, you could use smaller fine-tuned models. The key issue here is the LLM is a different model that doesn't know the knowledge base. And this is where refinement would benefit from LLM feedback. I'll give you an example and I explain my understanding and correct it, please. I have a question answering type of problem. It is sitting on top of a bunch of documents. My retriever gets a bunch of chunks. It refines them in a sense that it summarizes the chunks. And how do you summarize without losing the information that matters to answering the question? You train the specific model that does that summarization, but the way you train it is that you just put it inside the pipeline, get it to feed the summarizations into the LLM, look at the response that is coming out of the LLM, look at the difference of that and what was expected, and use the signal to fine tune yeah. the summarization and keep repeating that. Exactly. You can do that for both extractive and abstractive summarization. The key thing to note here is the summary is not meant to be read by a human. What is best for the human may not be best for the LLM. That's why using a GPT-4 for summarization is probably not the greatest. even if the retriever and the they are not the same architecture you are now bringing them closer because now the refinement is happening in the service of what is best for the llm this refinement step is is sort of an online activity that we are doing a chunk was retrieved we are modifying it to put it in a context but i i imagine there are also things that you could do in batch and offline So yeah, yeah. You, like dark to query was an example of a thing that you do offline you just augment the chunks you add a bunch of metadata maybe you summarize the tables maybe you extract the entities and put in also their definition the document part can be refined in batch prior so you can do half the work before for example if i'm working with legal documents and uh, we know that the llm the training data distribution is more general purpose than legal you can have a initial summarizer or a refiner that goes through your legal data converts them into a little more general purpose type data while capturing the same meaning but the online refinement has to take the query into account most of our documents are not written to be fed into llm and a lot of what we are talking about is how can we rewrite these documents in a way that is most appropriate to feed them to llms i think about topic is spanning that way that 
there is a document that is written in the structure that it is, but that's not suitable to be chunked in that particular way because the linear progression of the document is probably not the right structure to use to feed into all of them. And essentially what you're doing with topic span is that you're looking at the whole document, you're deciding, oh, these information, we can drop them. This information should actually come sit by this other piece of information. You're just rearranging the whole yeah. document. It is extractive and not abstractive query refinement. The reason I prefer extractive is the moment you abstract, you lose pragmatic information related to the tone, the audience, all of that is just lost when you summarize. That's why we keep the original sentences, but we just rearrange them in a self-contained island. The key point here is what exactly is a topic? How do you determine a topic? And how do you determine whether this sentence is relevant to a particular topic because each sentence can contain information about multiple topics. They can be in multiple topic spans, but ideally you are uh, putting all the sentences that are talking about a particular topic together, regardless of where they are in the document or across documents to have some kind of a chain. If it is arranged by date, then it can be a chronological chain an event chain. What you're describing sounds like topic modeling on documents and then restructure the documents based on topics. It is topic modeling on set, I would say. Very fine-grained, unsupervised topic modeling where your number of topics and is extremely large. Or conventional topic modeling is for humans. So the output of topic modeling, the number of clusters that you find is something that makes sense to humans. The topics that you get here won't make sense to humans, unless you take it in the context of the distribution of queries that one can ask. In, in more sophisticated ways that people do topic modeling, they, they take into account metadata like time components. The question is, how do you identify a granular topic without running into topic explosion problem? Implementation wise, the way it actually goes is we do it one sentence at a time with a little bit of look ahead. This is a very specific implementation that I have been working on, but uh, you can think of a whole lot of different ways to do it. The objective is building more self-contained islands and then connecting them. That become a knowledge graph? Intellectually, we can think of it as that, but I wouldn't implement it using a knowledge graph, either as an abstraction uh, computationally or in a graph model that involves training mostly because of issues with training dynamics 